Hello everyone, welcome back to another Minecraft story mode episode. Last this episode we played episode one, and I'm back with another episode, and we're playing episode two today. And wow, um, episode one was about an hour long stream yesterday. Episode two will probably be the same length, but you know, you never know. All right, let's do this, shall we? Shall we do this? Uh, I do want to wait for somebody real quick because you know. That's how it's been working. A little too loud. Okay. That's maybe perfect. Alright. Yeah, that should work. Uh, a mic's ready. And I think we're ready to go. Uh, I do want to say thank you for watching last episode. It was really fun. I loved episode one. I really liked it. It was pretty fun. We're going to do episode two though today. Let's do it. Alrighty. Episode 2! It's gonna be fun! Alright. See what happens. Previously on Minecraft Story Mode. Old friends come in and move out yeah. of life, While new friends show up to fill the spaces left behind. New friends. Still old friends, but some new friends. We might not like it, but eventually everyone learns that nothing can escape change forever. No matter how fraught with danger it may seem, the lure of adventure cannot be denied. Sometimes the danger itself is the pull. So like, what's interesting? Some heroes just want to be the one to discover the next ancient secret, to wield strange new powers. This new right. threat was more personal than any that had come before, and the fight for their lives shook the foundation of everything it's they It's funny because possible. Lucas is actually the one doing it this time. But in the end, the town was saved. It was not the saved. heroes had won the day. And everyone could believe, for just one moment, that maybe things really hadn't changed at all. Really? And then, that moment passed. Uh-oh. Galactus is back. Uh. Okay. Peaceful? I reckon not, so we'll get ready for that. Uh-oh. Greetings, tiny people. I am the admin. Okay. You don't seem Sorry. To that was probably really loud to your pathetic, tiny ears. Bro, don't call us that. Wait, what? Admin? Come on. I'm so scared right now. Well, I guess Jack's eye wasn't enough for it. I wish to speak with Jesse, the gauntlet bearer. What's going on? I'm right Where here. Come from? Well, quit wishing, admin, because I'm right here. I know. That's why I was like looking right at you. Uh, come, speak with me face to face. Oh boy. Admin? Have you ever heard of such a thing? Jesse, what's going on here? I can explain that. Don't Barra. That's all rather suspicious, it's isn't not, it? There's no need to no worry. Kidding. Uh, everyone, everyone, hi. There's nothing to worry about. The giant prismarine uh. colossus and I are gonna work this out and everything can get back to normal, I swear. Okay, so, an admin, a huge colossus in our door. I'm all right with not freaking out, yet. You're going to fix this, right, Jesse? Yeah. You won't let it destroy Beacon Town, will you? Oh, I'm Let sure Jesse must have thought of something. Don't worry, everyone. I'm gonna try talking to it. Okay. Diplomacy. Nice. That sounds good. <clears throat> Bro. I would like to proceed, Gauntlet Para. Do not test my patience. The Lactus, calm down. Guess you should get up there. Gauntlet Bearer. Clay, so. coming your way. Thanks, Nell. Perfect. The weird thing is, she went right away with the clay. And I didn't even ask for the clay. But we probably need it to get up there. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm thinking we need it. Yeah, we do. Okay. We do need this. Ah, 
There you are, Jesse. Uh... I loved what you did with the Witherstorm. Awesome stuff. Okay. Oh, this is going to be perfect. You've got the knack. Why, thank you. Why, yes, thanks for noticing. Seriously, you're a natural. That's why I left you the gauntlet. You left it? To tempt you down to the sea temple. But now, your true test begins. It is time you no! fight. Go. Chill. Fight me, champion. Unless you'd like to see that happen to your entire town. Who knows what Still I'll do next? Crazy. <laughs> okay, I get it now. You are totally cuckoo. <clears throat> Hold on. Aha! What? Fighting in broad daylight is boring. Let's add some drama. Bro. He did not just change oh, the... He's powerful. So much for them. <laughs> Just you and me now, champion. Don't let them go. Not threatened by that, but like... <laughs> that is... This is very unfair. <laughs> oh my gosh. Chill. That is not good, Jesse. Really not good. Beacon Town is gonna be like, like, one big smash fest to this guy. Ugh. Not even Miss Butter's gonna do anything against that Colossus. We need something bigger, like uh. Like the structure block. Yeah. Buy me time. I'm gonna plant some arrow towers. That should make tall, dark, and ugly regret smashing my town. One major distraction coming up. Go, Jesse. All hey, right. Stone Face, over here. Yeah, that's right. Your courage is so much larger than your puny size. Okay, let's do this. Ooh, let's see how you deal with the enchanted deliciousness of Miss Butter. I could pick my teeth oh, with God. that blade. Okay, it's cool. I'll take you down one block at a time. <laughs> Uh, I turn boo, boo. Are you good, Petra? Clever distraction, Jesse. Ah. For it all, dude. Uh, uh, th where's the structure block? Ha <laughs> ha. Finders key. This tiny thing won't save you, Jesse. Not from me. Bruh. He just ate the only thing that could. S no. Wow. Okay, this is a little intense, but I guess a giant colossus did follow me oh. home. Hide and seek is beneath you, Jesse. The champion should be better than this. Where do I go? The other way? If you're going to be a okay. coward, Jesse, just give yourself up. Not being a coward, I'm being smart. The ladder. So annoying. All you do is talk, dude. Okay. A design on the back of his head. I've seen it before. Prismarine soldiers back at the Sea Temple had the same symbol. Interesting. Here I am! <laughs> ah! 
<laughs> Looking a little helpless, champion. Not even champion, they're sarcastic. Hey, Rockface! Eat this! Okay, that must have hurt. What is that? Quick version, the admin. He like built the world or something. Uh, Kay. Are you alright? I mean he really had you up there. Thanks, Lucas. Lucas, you just saved my life. Thank you. Of course! <laughs> I always wanted to ride into battle. <laughs> I sure hope you got an idea here. Got I saw it. a spot on the back of his head that I'm hoping might be the key to defeating him. You can't doubt Sounds like I better keep him distracted then. Thanks, Lucas. Be careful. Alright. Come now, Jesse. All this stalling is just making me angrier. Hey, Lockhead! You want Jesse? You need to go through me first. And I don't think you stand a chance. Uh. You're protecting Jesse. Oh, please. All these interruptions are becoming annoying. Okay. That, that ends now. Oh no. Let's see what you got. Yeah. Go. Go. Go, 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 go. Jump. I knew you'd come eventually. You don't know anything about me. Oh, dude. <sighs> Where are you? Hey! Oh, I'm sorry. Stop. Sure would be a pity if. Stop. No, no! bro. You're gonna wish you hadn't done that, dude. Admin. Really? Really? Really, dude? Destroy oh boy. the memorial to Ruben? Really I think you can defeat me, Jesse. Actually, I don't yeah. think. I know. You talk more much yeah. than you. Yeah. Dude. What? That is so mean. Confidence. The mark of a true. Okay, you're dead, bro. Just give up. You're gonna die. This is it. Boom, boom. Well, fuck. Easy. I champion. Well, that was easy. That was really something. Stay behind me, Stampy! Ah, don't let the googlies take me! Oh man, these are gonna keep coming in until we get the sun back up. Exactly. Any idea how to use it? Reset it, right? Okay. Well, it's now daylight. Or at least it's turning daylight. Well, that was an epic fight. I highly doubt that's the end. I highly doubt that that's the end. <laughs> that's the end, dude. It's not, but like... Because it's five more episodes. Oh, thank goodness! But it's starting now. That was a cool fight. I enjoyed that. Alright. We're using blocks that we didn't have before. That's cool, they're using blocks that we destroyed them with. We 
hate Chris Murray. This music's so vibing, bro. Vibing to the music. I can't believe it still works. Still not. Yeah. This thing could be super dangerous. Oh yeah. How sure are you that this admin guy is gone? Still have his glove. You make a compelling point, Lucas. My hand is still trapped in this freaky gauntlet. <sighs> yeah. Not to be a worrier, but he might not be as dead as we hope. I I'm worried enough for both of us. Still so alive. Why don't you keep an eye on this thing? Yeah. I can take first watch. Actually, <clears throat> actually, huh? I'll volunteer. I want to help. Jesse, I'd say we both do it, but one of us should really get started on the repairs. It's a nice uh, gesture, but maybe you should just let me handle it. Look, I promise. Then the minute I see anything out of the ordinary, I'm coming to get you as fast as my hustle sticks will carry me. I, I, my, uh, my legs. Come on, Jesse, I can do this. Man. Jesse's left me in charge before. I believe this is a radar. whole new level, though. All right, Radar. I officially bequeath on you the title of Clockmaster. Thank you, Jesse. I solemnly promise to uphold the duties of Clockmaster and to only use my powers for good. Well, uh, yeah, good. That's good. He said good. Bro, he's only going to use his powers for good. How would you use it for evil? I feel like the so only So what are you going to do now? Use the clock for evil. I figured I'd start with Ruben's memorial. Got pretty trashed. That's terrible. I'm so sorry. That admin just... No respect. Yeah, it's bad. It'll be alright. It'll be alright. Damage isn't too terrible. Very That's a really good outlook. Horrible. My memorable. And, um... My grave for Ruben. When I asked you what you're gonna do, I was actually talking about that glove of yours. Okay. Because I gotta tell you, Jesse, this whole admin thing, it's... Well, it's very you. I guess is what I'm saying. Huh? Well, I know you say you're trying to settle down and run Beacon Town, but it just seems like you can't quit that life, you know? Yeah. I mean, you don't maybe exactly right. see Axel and Olivia getting mixed up in stuff like this. Well, maybe you're right. Well, today goes to show that the people will love you no matter what. True. That is very true. I, uh... I didn't say anything. Naomi, of that are stuff you in the stream? Mean. If you're in the stream, we've had a ton of adventures, and I just want you to be happy. I mean, that's what that little pig wanted for all of us. Oh. Yeah, now go rebuild his monument. I promised Stampy and Stacy I'd help them get their houses fixed up. Sounds one. good. I'll see you I later, like Lucas. Been such a good pig in season two. Okay, let's see what we can do for you, buddy. That he's gone. Did mess up. All right. And then he trashes it again. Or apparently, I don't know how I'm gonna rebuild this, but I feel like a nice. I feel like this will be easy to rebuild. how to build which is not too much of a problem I'm gonna use glass so we can see through it so it'll be like cool is this enough glass to fill the whole tile though Enough, but you know, it's alright. We'll just use blocks that don't even match. Alright. Taking a while here. I'm gonna finish it though. Alright, gotta get this right because I don't want it to be perfect.
Oh, I didn't realize you could do that. That's so much quicker. Alright, we're halfway done. It's still not good enough, which is sad, but like, we'll finish it up. We're halfway done. I mean, it, I mean, his memorial's looking promising. That's what I'm saying. He's prismarine for his memorial. Dude, this looks so cool. I think I'm gonna fill in the bottom. Wait, was the bottom ever filled? I think it was. I'll fill in it. I feel like it was full before. There's a little memorial. I'm just filling in the bottom real quick. So then it'll be perfect. And then I'll put the roof and I'll uh finished does that look good there now that is a monument fit for Reuben yep I like it I know I never met Robin Reuben oh right righteous oh by the way Petra was looking for you before over that away thanks now Petra was looking for me and he called my pig Ru Robin he called Reuben Robin I know I'm oh, come problem. on. You remember Twisting Death Cavern? You couldn't even look at a bat for months, right? Oh, oh yes. Oh, they all just start to blur together after a while. Hey, guys, Petra around? Heard she was looking for me. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, helping Nurm get some stuff, I think. Uh, she should be back in a second. Oh, uh, amazing work fighting that admin fellow, by the way. <laughs> just stunning. Yeah, I would have thought you'd been doing it your whole life. Hey, you helped too. It was artful. Oh, I can't take all the credit. You guys totally helped too. Spare me the pity props, Jesse. Don't need them. Hey, it wasn't pity. I'm, I'm just saying I know I'm still getting used to fighting with only one eye. It's cool. Okay. I'm just glad my shop's all right. It's a little sad that the legendary Jack the, the Iron Sword of Muji Lake has been reduced to some uh, what, tour guide. Voss. That's why I think this adventure to Twisting Death Cavern is just what you need to be. <laughs> Shut up. What you should continue to keep uh, just uh, talking about uh -huh. for some day uh, far off. Uh, yeah. Yeah, agreed. Love theoretical conversations. You're terrible liars. Oh, wow, I thought Jack was a bad liar. But you're pretty terrible at it too, Voss. Uh, yes, okay, fine. We have a new adventure planned. Hang on, hang on. I missed that last part. If we take that road, it goes through a swamp and a mesa biome? Hmm. Okay, okay, then it's settled. The earlier we leave, the better. Uh, of course. Wait, you're leaving with these guys? Uh, yeah. Uh, and that's, uh, yeah, that's why cool, we I were, guess. um, being weird before and, uh, you know, talking about, uh, you know, bus possible stuff. That's cool, I guess. Is this really that important to you? I, yes, kind of. Jesse, I promise I, I can explain. I just, whoa, wait, what? Why is it snowing? It's impossible.
impossible. This isn't a snow biome. Yeah, it's not. It's snowy. The admin. The one and only. I had so much fun during our last little battle. Super epic. Just couldn't stay away. Wait, you're the admin? Well, that giant... Prismarine Colossus. <laughs> Just a construct. Rolled it up for the occasion. Pretty fun, right? His eyes aren't straight. I just thought it'd be a little easier to talk like this. You're such a jerk. Well, it's kind of cuddly, right? I don't know what kind of game you're playing, but you're being a jerk. You could seriously hurt people. Oh, come on. Come on, don't do me like that. You have to admit, you've been having a little fun along the way. All those guardian fish, the temple. Hey, see, you four went into my temple, back out alive. Heroes, you're perfect for my creations. Perfect. Uh, where are you going with this? Got a new challenge for you. Trust me, you're gonna love it. Alright. Dude. Again, really? Again. You hear that? That's a diamond class wave of doom and destruction headed right for town. <laughs> Pretty good, Not right? On my watch. Been working on that one. It'll stand a chance, admin. I'm gonna stop each and every one of your monsters. Ooh, a hero with attitude. I love it. I really do. Ahem. <clears throat> your town will be trapped in eternal snowy night, forever plagued by deadly waves of mobs until you recapture that clock. Which is where? I'm glad you asked. It's at the tippy top of my awesome, fantastic, super deadly, icy palace of despair. Bruh. It's simple. Just follow the path. You can't miss it. Well, that sounds needlessly dangerous. Challenge accepted. Oh, it is. Fine. We accept your challenge. I'm gonna get that clock, and then you're next. Ooh, that one gave me the shivers. You are legit, Jesse. Very excited. Why are you doing this? What do you want from us? Why? Why? Well, because it's fun, Attack obviously. I mean, this is gonna be epic. <laughs> you think you've got it all figured out, don't you? Ah, oh, strays. Pesky little consequence of eternal night. And <laughs> Beacon Town's new neighbors Dude. until you take care of that clock. Bro. Remember, admin. find the clock, Shop. save Shop. the town. Bye-bye now. Why do you keep doing this, bro? It's not funny. Ah, we need to protect the people. Dude. Run! Hide everyone! Mm. You're running, you can fight. You have a sword, right? It's not. Time to go insane. Yes. Okay. Oh, they have a pattern. Poison? Oh, no, they're not poison. This is the last one, I think. Dead. I think that's it. That might be it. I have no clue. I've got a bad feeling more will be on the way soon. Guys? Just stop this, dude. Hey, Jesse, I am so sorry. I, I was standing guard watching it so close, but it just disappeared. I know. Now that situation is just gonna get worse until we get it back. Yeah, from his icy palace of despair, or whatever. Wherever you're going, I'm coming too. Uh -huh. I was given the title and the power of Clockmaster. 
If it's to keep Beacon Town safe, I'll do anything. Just stay out of danger. Really? Here. Just do me a favor and try to stay out of danger, okay? Okay. I'll try not to be a burden. Okay. All right, everyone, we've got a clock to find. So I guess we're going. Can't let you come along on this one, old friend. Hmm. Mm. I promise I will come back. Hmm. Stay safe, Nerm. You stay safe, Nerm. Okay? Hmm. Aw. Is that thing gone? Yeah, for now. I mean, block this up after we leave, would you? On it. Yes, we will defend Beacon Town with our very lives. Thanks, guys. Bye, Nerm. Hmm. Nerm. We're all counting on you. I wish I knew more about whatever their quest is. Stop the admin. I guess. I think they should have had more dialogue this season. It's all right. They only get like a few like lines. Especially Scammy. He, he's like the fewest out of all. In the beginning, he gets us, like a lot, but just the fewest. Stay close. I don't mean to sound suspicious, but do we really think the admin is going to keep his word about this clock? Yeah, I don't exactly get a trustworthy vibe off of him. Are you listening to him? He's a total wacko. I bet even he doesn't know what his game plan is. I wouldn't be so quick to write him off, Jesse. It could all be a ruse. I'm with Jesse, actually. I think he's a few rails short of a full track. Okay. Jesse, uh, can we, um, talk? All right. I'll just walk a little more over here. Oh, uh, right. Uh, uh, me, me, me too. What the heck? That's weird. About that trip with Jack. I promise it's not like it seems. It's just a little trip. A little time away from Beacon Town. You didn't invite me. To... You're coming back, right? I don't know. Find myself? You're gonna come back, right? Sure. Uh, of course. What? I... I really am sorry that it happened this way. I, I was just so excited to be hanging out with real hardcore adventurers again. Especially because I was worried that you... that you didn't need me anymore. Uh, of course I need you. Petra, of course I need you. That's ridiculous. Ugh. See, this is why it would have been so much easier if you hadn't found out like this. It's just... <coughs> Everything's so different from when we first became friends. Everything's... changed. Oh. Lucas, Axel, Olivia, they all changed too. They found what made them happy. Their thing. But me... I still haven't found mine. Do you know how hard that is? The thing is friendship. You're an adventurer. Oh, how that feels? I mean, if I'm honest, it does seem like adventure is your calling. You know, the open road. Right? That's kind of what I thought, too. Huh? What's that? Oh. Luna? Is that a scarf on that llama? Huh. Think she ran away again? Uh, Probably. Excuse me. Speaking for the group, you guys know a llama? Where'd she come from? Yeah, she's goofy. She's just a goofy llama. A little weird, but nice enough. Don't know if you've looked in the mirror lately, but I'd watch who you're calling Goofy. Everyone get away from my llama. No. Jesse, my rival. Should have known I would find you here. You should go home. Hush, still I'm not talking. your rival. Yeah, I'm still really not your rival. Really. So you say. And yet here we still meet. Yeah, we're not okay. really rivals at all. What is going on here? Lucas, this is Stella, the leader of Champion City. This is Jack, Voss, and Radar. Jacques, was it? 
As in the legendary champion? So, what exactly are you doing here, Stella? My beautiful city is currently covered in a hideous coat of snow. That's what. I came out to investigate, and surprise, surprise, it's you. If you're smart, you'll undo whatever it is you did what? and put things right again. I didn't do this. Just... Wow. You're so delusional. Don't blame me. It wasn't me that did this, it was the admin. Huh, I don't know who this Adam is, but it seems awfully rude to pin it on him. No, admin. Ad-min. He's like... Oh, he's a big, giant, bad guy. Super powerful. Hmm. All right. Let's say I believe you. Huh? I suppose I'll just have to find a way to fix it. It's my world too, after all. You'll see, I'll fix it all on my own. I don't need any of you losers. Birch Hill. Whoa, the, the moon is stuck. Okay, that's freaky. So, Stella, you were saying? I was saying that maybe I'll stick around for a bit, just to keep an eye on you. Okay, fine. You know, I've been thinking about it, and I totally agree that adventure is probably the closest I've got to a thing. But did this adventure really have to include Stella? <laughs> Okay, Radar? Yes, yes, totally fine. Guys, shh. We need to keep an eye. Whoa. Aww. Whoa. I'm actually kind of speechless right now. Man. You and speechless? it's all ice? Everything okay, Jack? <laughs> Astounding. <laughs> I know. You holding up okay? I'm not gonna have another <clears throat> episode. No. No, no, I'm not. I'm, uh, I'm taking my fear, my anger, my rage, my fear, and, uh, converting them into pure awesomeness. Uh, good. Good. Hey, found the clock. Oh, perfect. But how are we gonna get up there? Well, the admin mentioned challenges. I'm guessing there's gonna be, like, obstacles or something when we get there. Oh, yeah. Wait. Do I have this right? Are you telling me that this admin is so powerful, he built all of this instantly? You sound almost jealous. Almost? Of course I'm jealous of power like that. Power is how the world is run, little man. It's what people respect, what they listen to. Not in my world. It's not how my world works, Stella. There are more important things than who has the most power. Huh. I wonder who he would agree with. Stella, you'll never change. I thought I recognized you. You're the quitter who used to work on my inventory management team. Wait, wait, do, do you two know each other? Uh, yeah, I, uh, I used to live in Champion City. What? I don't know what he told you to get on this little team, but I don't think he even knows how to use a sword. Bro, stop making fun. No, you don't know anything, Stella, so zip it. Hey, Ooh, uh, how do you put up with that little voice of his, Jesse? I know I never could. Hey, Radar is really brave, all right? Oh, yeah, really super brave, I'm sure. Who even invited you anyway? I'm just telling you, Jesse, I'd be careful about counting on him for anything. Come along, Luna. Dear. Thanks, Jesse. I appreciate that. You deserve that. I'm not the person she thinks I am anymore. I've changed. And I can prove it. I can be different. That's Braver. Scary. Yeah, you've definitely changed, Radar. It's always important to try and grow. Yeah. And I promise, I'll make you proud. Would you look at that? I haven't seen anything that grand since the last time I visited the overcompensating builders of Igesh. No kidding! Okay. Oh boy, my favorite. Mystery levers. 
Alrighty, in the next episode, part two of episode two, we will push this lever and figure out what goes on. See you all in the next one.